Bill Gates startup, nuclear power company TerraPower, they're saying they're about to build a nuclear power plant, even if they don't get the permits to build it. Seems a bit odd to me, but either way, this new nuclear power plant is going to be built on the site of an old coal power plant. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Sorry that I'm talking a little bit weird. I'm kind of hunched over because my leg is sitting up here on the on the bench. I have to keep it elevated for two weeks. So Bill Gates, he co-founded a nuclear power company called TerraPower. And they're saying that they're going to fast track their first next gen nuclear power plant. So this apparently is a next generation nuclear power plants, which are much more efficient, cheaper to build. Uh, you know, a lot of people are sort of questioning whether or not there's, well, really anything revolutionary going on here at all. What do you think? I mean, Bill Gates does, does talk a lot about new, uh, renewable energy, but he's really more into nuclear power based on where he puts his money. Now, Chris Levesque, CEO of TerraPower, told the Financial Times that his firm will start building at a site near a coal plant, well, basically actually where the coal plant was, in Wyoming in June, even if it hasn't received a construction permit from regulators by then. So some people are thinking, if you don't have a permit to build a nuclear power plant, can you still build one? Well, Bill Gates seems to think you can. So the company plans to bring the nuclear power plant online in 2030. So even with this new uh, revolutionary design, which is meant to be much faster to build, much cheaper, it's still gonna take six years. And keep in mind, I mean, there's never been a nuclear power plant built ever that has been built on time. We often hear of, you know, renewable power plants, solar power plants, wind, we often hear of them actually being completed much quicker than what they were meant to be done in. Uh, and battery, ba battery plants, you know, they have new battery, mega batteries installed there, often built much quicker. But nuclear power, usually it takes twice as long as what the experts say. But who knows, this could work well, you never know. What do you guys think? The company plans to bring the power plant online in 2030 and they have raised $1 billion from backers. The battery will use liquid sodium rather than water to cool its natrium reactors, making them cheaper to run. Most of the initial work at the site won't be related to nuclear activity, said the company. When you use liquid sodium as a coolant instead of water, it's a game changer, he told the FT. Natrium plants will cost half of what light water reactor plants cost. And we are moving our project along pretty aggressively. In other words, they're saying, because this is a different uh, nuclear power plant, it'll cost half as much to build versus previous nuclear power plants, meaning it's still gonna be insanely expensive, but hopefully a lot cheaper than previous ones. But you know, that's yet to be seen, considering this is the first of its kind. Gates helped found TerraPower in 2006, and he's been its chairman since then. The company has said its aim is to provide the world with a more affordable, secure, and environmentally friendly form of nuclear energy. Now, the fact that Bill Gates is basically the chairman, um, the guy in charge, could mean that um, he'll get things approved faster than what other people would. Obviously, uh, money talks, let's be honest. Its nature and reactor will cost $4 billion with about half the cost being met by the Department of Energy. So the US Department of Energy is gonna pay $2 billion of this cost. But as always, you know there'll be cost overruns and the question is who will pay for those cost overruns? Probably the government. Almost always that cost overrun is paid for by the government. CRV and Kozla Ventures are among the company's VC backers, said Reuters, and while Russian and Chinese state-controlled companies have already managed to launch smaller nuclear reactors, progress in developing similar technology in the United States, well, it hasn't really gone anywhere over the past few years. There was a lot of excitement about small nuclear reactors, they called them modular nuclear reactors, but not a whole lot has happened, in fact, very little. High interest rates apparently have made it tougher for startups to draw in funding, while Russia's invasion of Ukraine and subsequent exclusion from financial markets has made it tougher for companies to get the uranium needed for their reactors. In December 2022, TerraPower pushed back the launch of its flagship project by at least two years. And they said the reason for this was the war in Ukraine. Um, it, uh, 
hit supplies of high assay, low enriched uranium. So for some reason, uh, the war in Ukraine um, damaged global supplies of uranium. I don't understand the logic behind that. I wouldn't have thought uh, you would need uranium for the war in Ukraine. But anyway, in October last year, Terra Power missed out on making the shortlist for the next round of the UK government's competition for small nuclear power plants. Rolls-Royce is one of the leading contenders with its small nuclear modular reactor. And Rolls-Royce has already secured more than 200 million pounds of government funding in Britain. Now, it sounds like um, the race is on here globally for who can actually start building these, you know, who can get market share, who can actually prove the concept works, who can prove that um, small modular nuclear, nuclear reactors are in fact the future of energy. And um, you know, a lot of countries think they are. France thinks they are, the UK thinks they are. Um, more and more countries, Sweden, more and more countries are jumping on board lately. The, uh, the nuclear power train. Now, I'm not convinced that it's the best decision. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.